Hi folks and uh, welcome to my video. I um, haven't contributed anything for a while um, because I uh, I managed to get knocked off my Speedmaster and uh, was in hospital for some time with broken leg and smashed knee and uh, yeah all a bit of a mess really. Anyway back in the game now and um, back to uh, being on the bike again. So um, just before I had my accident I'd actually got this ex Diavel on order, um, a new one, a 22 plate uh, to replace my old one and uh, anyway I couldn't ride it when when the accident happened so uh, it just sat in the garage for a while but anyway I've managed to get on it now and I'm riding it but I'm just about to take it off the road um, for the winter because the you know in the UK they put salt down and it doesn't do these bikes any favors so um, I've done just over 5,000 miles on it um, and it's not due for a service for some time yet so um, I'm not really keen on leaving the oil in for too long anyway so I think 5,000 miles is about right but anyway bottom line is I thought I would do a quick video um, of an oil change on a Ducati um, XD Avel um, it's pretty straightforward really um, not much different to any other bike so I just thought I would uh, video it and then if it helps anybody out then so be it okay so first things first we'll get the oil out of the sump the engine has been warmed up it's nice and hot so uh, we should get a good a good flow of oil out of the out of the sump. Um, so before we do that, we will undo the uh, filler cap, which on my bike is held on. It's a aftermarket one, so it's held on with an Allen key. Um, so we'll just get an Allen key and undo that. So the Allen key, the sump plug on these is a 5mm Allen key, um, so it's quite small actually. So make sure you get the Allen key all the way in. I'm going to use an electric an electric wrench just to whiz it out. And there we go. Okay, so we'll just let that drain. Now the oil filter, um, I couldn't find a really good fitting um, cup to go on the oil filter. Um, so I've managed to get one for another vehicle that's uh, close enough, but it just, just needs tapping on. But it taps on and it taps off, so I'm not too bothered about that. So there's the oil filter. I've taken the bottom belly pan off. Um, because it just improves the access. So just put the cap on and as you just tap that in place. And then use a 3 8 drive to undo it. That's it. 
let that drain. Now there is another uh, point where you can remove to change oil. Um, sorry, it's not to change oil, but it's part of the oil change procedure, and it's this um, this little cover here. You take that off. It's held on with four little bolts. You take that off and there's a filter in there, but I'm not going to bother with that because one, I haven't got the correct sealant to put it back on, and two, like I say, the bike's only done 5,000 miles anyway, and uh, this is just a peace of mind thing for me. I've got the oil, I've got the filter, I might as well use them, so I'm not doing that, and it does say in the book actually that it's every other oil change anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so most important thing with the old filter when you've removed it is to make sure that the rubber o-ring comes off with it. Um, if it doesn't then it's obviously stayed up on the engine and you need to remove it because if you have two o-rings you will have a massive leak. So just make sure that o-ring comes off with the filter. The new filter I'm just going to put a spot of oil in there. It's a, a little bit of an angle but I can put a drop in just to help prime it. Put a bit of fresh oil around the seal and then screw it up. Um, I'm going to put it inside this cup <clears throat> and uh, just tap that on and then it's torqued to um, 13 newton meters. Okay so just remember that 13 newton meters. Okay I'm going to do that now. set my torque wrench I just need to tap that cover off which will come off quite easily with a little screwdriver and a tap with a hammer and uh, then put the sump plug back in and top up with oil Okay, all that remains now is to uh, put the sump plug back in and tighten it to the correct torque, which is 20 newton meters. Um, so we have a new washer to go on the plug. Now, as with the oil seal on the other side, make sure that the old copper washer comes off with the um, with the original sump plug when you undo it. Um, mine didn't, and I've just discovered that that was that was stuck up on, on on the engine, so you'd end up with two on there, which isn't a good thing. So just make sure that that's that's um, comes down with the uh, with the original one. So all that remains is to screw this back in. Get this on the, on the video. with its new washer obviously and then as I say talk to 20 new meters make sure the allen keys all the way in and let you go in the right direction That's it. Job done. So, the um, the engine takes, according to the manual, the engine takes 4.2 litres of oil. Um, so I'm just going to put 4 litres in now, um, run the engine up to temperature, let the oil settle, and then um, just check the level and top up as necessary from there. But basically that's it. That's an oil change on a, a Ducati. Um, despite the book saying 4 litres, um, I've put three litres in there and there we are, 
straight in between the two marks so yeah might take just another 100 mil or so but that's it so just um, rather than just go off the book I would probably just go off the sight glass and uh, go from there really top it up on the sight glass start the engine up let it settle and then top up from there so that's what I've done and as I say it's only taken three litres so okay uh, rather than people overfill it that's probably the best way to do it okay hope that helps you all out and uh, catch you on the next one